Hello, classy, classy people. How y'all be? I'm doing well. It's Wednesday evening. My name is Wayne Bolden. I am the Speed King. Welcome to your community. We're here to do the floor delistics over there, grade two at Church Hill on Saturday. The Phillies and Mares going a mile and eight. And of course, you know Latruska's in there. We're going to dial into this analysis. It won't take long. But before we do, please do us a favor. As always, we ask that you subscribe to the channel. You ring that bell so you can get notified each and every time that we do one of these videos. It's free of charge, zero money down. We have a bunch of fun each and every week by analyzing races throughout the nation. And as always, we have classy, classy listeners on this channel. So... You know, we're going to dial in to the third stake race that we've done so far at Churchill on Saturday. And it's a big day. It's closing day at Churchill. And, of course, you know the Stephen Foster's over there. And, um, you know, with Max Phil in there, we did that video out there. And then we did the Ohio Derby. That video's out there. We got to shake them up, shake them up out there with Mass Pass uh, Parade, you know. And um, the floor, the list for mayors have Latruskin. and it is just a field of six. So this won't take long. Going to mile in the eighth, it's a grade two race, and there's a bunch of pretenders in here. That's all it is. So let's dive right in. The number one horse, point of honor, point of honor, first of all, has the genius, has the professional up, Javier Castellano. And this is Shug McGahee horse. This is a five-year-old making his five-year-old debut. So this is the first time that we've seen this horse uh, since his four-year-old debut. He does have numbers back there that would suggest that he could run with this field. Um, but I don't know how he's going to react uh, after having, I think, um, like 221 days off. Uh, it could be fresh. I know Shug McGay, he could get the horse ready. But when I examine the speed figures on the horse, he does have one or two races back there that would suggest he could run with Latruska. Um, but I don't know if it's this spot, you know. Or did run second to She's a Jewelry, um, Aristolix, and she ran like six the last time she ran uh, to Montemore Girl. You know, and Valance, which is that Todd Pletcher horse. So, I don't really know what to do with Point of Honor. The number one horse uh, is bred by Curlin. You know, he's by Curlin, making his five-year-old debut after 200 days. Um, you know, so I would use him underneath, you know, in the third spot maybe. And maybe sneak him up in the second spot. I'm not ready to say Point of Honor is going to come off the bench with 220 days and beat the quality likes of horses like um, Latruska and uh, uh, you know I just I just don't see it and Ampele I just don't see that you know her doing this so so point of honor we're going to use underneath maybe in the third hole because she does have numbers back there that suggest that she could run um, you know uh, in the money and pick up uh, minor shares here but we need to see one off the 220 20 day layoff. Well, the number two, Antoinette. Antoinette is a four year old trained by Billy Mott, my guy. And Antoinette really is a turf horse, right? Um, most of the starts are on the turf. Uh, this is a small field. Billy Mott does amazing things, and everything is on the up and up there. But I don't think uh, Antoinette, the number two horse, is in the right spot here to bang head uh, with these type of horses. So we're going to go ahead and toss um, my guy, Billy Ma, and Antoinette right off the ticket. That's the number two horse. The number three horse is Volt. Volt is a, um, a five-year-old bred by Brad Cox. That's right, from the Untouchable Barn, the Mary Halls. And, I mean, the horse is a five-year-old. He's got 21 starts, seven wins, six seconds, and two-thirds. But the speed figures are probably the weakest in the field on the number th uh, three horse uh, vault, you know. And I just, I just don't think this horse is going to be able to hang with this field, and that's the number three vault. That's right. We're tossing them out. Amphalot, well... Here is the horse that's going to be my top pick. Um, we do have races with this horse 
running down the stretch. I like this horse. I've always liked this horse. And, um, you know, I mean, I want to take a listen to a little bit of it and right down the stretch here. Uh, very nice horse. And, you know, very nice horse. Um, Bhutan. You know, I kind of like Am Bhutan in this spot. You know, I think he has a chance to really upset Latruska. Am Bhutan. Well, let's take a peek. Am Bhutan is a four-year-old uh, trained by McPeak. Wait a minute, McPeak and McPeak and company. That's right, the law firm of McPeak and McPeak. You know the Swiss guy diver trainer? And you know Kenny McPeak is some classy trainer. He's a great, great trainer. He really is. Um, and I have a bunch of fun, you know, poking at him as well as the untouchables. But McPeak and McPeak, Ambulon, uh, we really do like this horse. Um, making a 28-day return. We think the favorite, Petruska, is vulnerable because she's returning so fast. So I'm going to give the edge to the number four horse um, in this spot. I just think that she's prime. She's been off for like four four and a half weeks off of a big race that she ran in the stake race down there at Churchill on the 29th of, um, uh, of May. So we think it's a, it's a prime time to tackle uh, the big head uh, Latruska. Up by length and a half now. So. Wanders inside, forcing Miss Bigley to come back outside. But Miss Bigley's two and a half lengths behind. Take a listen. Bhutan. On Bhutan, flaunting her speed to the wire, and she glides under the finish line. She did the glide. And I think Aunt Poulant is going to glide in this race. I actually think she's going to beat uh, Latruska. So that's the number four horse. That is our top pick in the race. We believe that um, when we get to the horse to analyze it, we believe that Latruska is vulnerable because she's returning real fast. The number five horse is Spice is Nice. Well, Spice is nice, but it may not be too nice on Saturday. This horse just probably shouldn't be in the race. You know, it's a four-year-old trained by uh, Todd Pletcher. And uh, the speed figures are just really, really light here on this horse. I guess if you like her, you could use her underneath, but I'm not crazy about the number five, Spice is Nice. So we're gonna toss Spice is Nice right off the ticket. And of course your favorite, the bottom horse, I mean he's some kind of special, okay? Uh, Latruska is a very, very nice horse. Maybe the most impressive horse I've seen to date other than uh, Ch Chad Brown's horse. And obviously two different divisions, but domestic spending, right? I mean these horses really dominated in their last few races that make you really open your eyes. And Latruska, you know, not to take anything away from her, uh, has done nothing wrong. The horse has 19 starts. 19, 14 of those starts are wins. I mean, that's that's utterly impressive. I mean, you know, I'm a Rachel Alexandra person, and this this is a very nice horse. I mean, 19 starts, got 14 wins, one second, and one third. So 16 of her 19 starts is in the money, and 14 of those are wins. How do you knock that? You can't. You know, so you can't do nothing but sit back and marvel at the work that Latruska does. And then, you know, she beat. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Say it ain't so. It is true. Don't say she beat a merry horse. She did beat a merry horse. That's the, that's the darling of the untouchable bond. Monomo girl. Yeah, Latruska beat her. And, um, Wow. And Bonnie South, obviously, she's beat the, uh, She Dares the Devil. And, I mean, you know, let's just take a peek at her at her numbers here. And, you know, Latruska's just some kind of special horse, you know. And you're not going to get anything on, on price-wise for her, that's for sure. Because uh, she's just an awesome, awesome horse. Um, yeah, she beat a uh, Monomore Girl in the Apple Blossom, and uh, of course McPeak and McPeak horse, uh, she beat down there as well, uh, which is, um, you know, Swiss Skydiver. So, you know, she beat him there, that speed figure is off the chain, 
She beat Modern War Girl, Bonnie South, Speed Figures off the chain. She did, you know, She Dares the Devil did beat her in the Horazi Stakes. But since then, you know, she's got a two-game two winning streak on, on, in her corner. And you said, well, why are you betting against her? Well, one, she's going to be real, real short. That's first. And secondly, I think she's vulnerable. And you say, well, hold on, Mr. Speaking. Where are you getting all this here knowledge from? I always talk about rest, right? See Billy Mott, right? That's where I learned that from. All horses need rest. And horses that are usually campaign and pointed to certain races usually don't have this issue. They usually have six, seven, eight weeks, two months, three months, or whatever, because they're specifically campaigned for big, big races. But this horse, I'm telling you right now, I don't know why they did it or how they did it or if they can't contain their enthusiasm or curb their enthusiasm. But on June 6th at Belmont, they took the horse to the Phillips, the Oregon Phillips Stakes, and the horse won, and that was 20 days ago. And I don't like that. I don't like that quick return from Belmont down, you know, have to go to Churchill. And, of course, you know, she's ran across Churchill before uh, Latruska. I mean, that's not an issue, you know, from Oakland. I think she ran across Churchill. Uh, actually, she's never been across Churchill. You know, the Mexican horse, you know, Gulfstream and Saratoga and Belmont. So she's shipping into um, Churchill off of shore return off of a big number. So if there's a time to go after Lutruska, it's now. You know, she's coming back soon. She don't have good rest. So she is clearly the horse to beat. She's going to be very, very short odds. It's a field of six. Uh, four of the horses, at least three of them, don't look like they should even be in the race. And that would be the two, the three, and the five. Don't look like they should be in the race. So the two, three, and five just has no chance. So the only horses that got a chance to beat her, of course, is number one horse, Point of Honor, who's coming off a 220-day layoff. So how do you pick her with any confidence? And then, of course, the horse I like off a lot, uh, which I think is sitting on a big, big race by McPeak and McPeak, you know. And so, like I said, we listened to a little bit of that race down the stretch. I, I actually like that race. That's why I played a little bit for you right here on the channel, so you can hear a little bit of it. Miss Bigley has you to know. fight back from second. And, uh, Paris Lights under pressure back in third. Take a listen. High regard comes wide from fourth. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. On Futant has taken over. On Futant opening up by length and a half now. Wanders inside, forcing Miss Bigley to come back outside. But Miss Bigley's two and a half lengths yes, behind she is. On Futant. On Futant flaunting her speed to the wire and she glides under the finish line. So again, I think, and it's going to be our title on this video, I think On Futant is going to upset Latruska. I do. I really do. So there it is, folks. I believe that Anvutan has a shot uh, to be uh, our favorite in this spot. I really do. Um, I hope you... Looking forward uh, to free music. Check out. I hope you understand that I know that Latruska is the horse to beat in this spot. Uh, I think she's returning uh, really, really soon here. I think we have a chance to upset her. And uh, by all means, I do. So, as always, folks, Speed King, there is your floor de list stakes. One mile and an eight. Grade two for Phillies and Bears. Latruska is the headliner there, but the Speed King is going to upset Latruska tomorrow. They say, hold on, she beat Monomore Girl. She may have beat Monomore Girl, but I don't think she's going to beat Ambutas. Not on Saturday. Not here. Not today. I think McPeak and McPeak knows how to get these Phillies tip-top shape. I don't know. See Swiss Skydiver and the Preakness slipping in there on who? Authentic. You know we got a little share of Authentic. But again, Ambutant is our top pick. We understand that Latruska is outside. We understand that she's a champion. We understand that she's everything. But we're going to try to get around her at short prices. And we're going to take a small stand to give us her. Because our top pick... Am Bhutan, and of course, Latruska, and then the one horse, Port of Honor. There is your floor de list stakes, grade two, on Saturday for Phillies and Mares. Enjoy the jazz in the background. Do me a big, big favor, folks. Please, if you want to buy a Speed King shirt, please, Speed King at 24, 
at yahoo.com. Speedking24 at yahoo.com. And as always, buy the Speed King of Coffee. It helps support our channel. We need all the help that we can get here. We do appreciate everything that you do for us. We do play you a little jazz. We give you some top, top picks. And I believe Aunt Dufont is the horse. Let's go better. Let's get around the big head horse, Latruska. Thanks once again, folks. Talk to you soon. We'll be back with the wise Dan, I'm sure.